Hello there, and as usual, I'm Eric from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another completely vanilla design from the Steam Workshop. Now if you know me, things with tracks really just interest me, from your main battle tank to this creation that is a rat rack. Now, in my eyes, this reminds me much of them snowcat machines that you see up in the cliffs around ski resorts and whatnot. And what I really like about this design is how they've simplified the tracks so that they're survival ready in much of a sense. So first off, I'm going to give this a little bit of a drive and I'll show you around the tracks itself. So what's great about this is behind it, it has this small plow. So you can actually mine or mine an area or you can even set yourself foundations of a base. So let's actually pop in and then we'll give it a little look over and I'll show you how this thing works So now that we're in we've copied and pasted it in we've detached all the parts We're just going to activate our tracks and we'll go back to the expectator position Now you can see we've got a three-wheeled track design and this thing is not slow at all And the track is going to allow us to go over a whole variety of different terrain So say for instance, I actually pop myself out of there and grab myself the voxel hands Let's just see what sort of objects we can actually put in the way here. So we've actually just got some basic stone. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just attempt to give it like a little bit of a, a sort of bumpy, lumpy area. So we've got a little bit of a rock, really simple sort of task for it to get over here. So let's see if we can do it. Let's disable that. And you can see as them tracks grip onto that rock, it's sucking away and it's actually managed to make it over the top. So let's give it something a little bit harder. Let's actually build a little divot in the ground here and just see how it handles that. So say, for instance, there's a trench in the ground. So let's activate that. Let's see it cross this small trench. Will it drop down into the trench or will the tracks manage to flow over it? Beautiful. Just what tanks are designed to do. So let's actually try this one more time. Let's make it a little bit of a riggedy course. So we're going to build a stone wall, quite a high stone wall in that area, just to see if it can crawl over that. So I'm hoping it can. I'm just hoping it can get enough grip. It looks like one track is not locking up and it's not managing to get the grip over that. But all it needs is one of them teeth to actually gain some grip on that and it will manage to get over the actual object itself. Maybe this is just too steep for it. So we'll lower it back just a tiny bit. You can see that track on the left side stopped. So we'll lower that down a tiny bit and see if it can continue to try and climb it. No, it's still struggling to get that grip. It's probably because the rock area on this side is so rounded. So let's actually lower this just a tiny little bit more. If you're in the cockpit and this gyroscope is fitted aboard this vehicle, you could easily get across this. So if I'm actually driving it, I can actually move the tracks and wheels into such a position where I'd be able to get the grip I need to get over the top of it. But since there was no driver in it before, it did make it a little bit harder. So, there we go, the drills are actually catching on the back. Let's actually try them drills out, see if they work. So, the drills are going to attempt to mine away as we go, creating a nice little trail behind the vehicle. So, let's bring this vehicle to a stop and work out how these tracks actually work. So, if we turn that off, for a second, the vehicle will come to a screeching halt. And we can actually have a look what's holding this on here. So, we've got the three wheels. We've got two sprocket wheels on both sides. Now, the sprocket wheels have this extra wheel attached to them. And what's happening here, as these tracks are going around, it's being trapped between this armor block on this side and this little track retaining pin on this side. So this actually keeps it between them two wheels and stops it from coming off the track. Very interesting indeed. But what I like about this is, is how survival ready it actually is. You could technically build this in survival mode. The, the only issue that I would see having is managing to wrap the track around in a survival sort of sense. But once you've got this going and you don't have any detracking incidents, it could technically count as survival already, but in my opinion, there's lots more functional vehicles. But this vehicle has never been really designed to be functional. It's just designed to look absolutely beautiful. Anyway, there's one final test that I want to see what this vehicle can do. So for this final test of off-road performance, we're going to drive it off a cliff. What better test can we actually have? So we're powered up the wheels. The cliff is coming up ahead. Now, I don't know if we should attempt to break or we should just enjoy the process of this thing using gravity wheels are speeding up tracks are speeding up oh oh god the tracks are actually holding up quite well actually going down this hill at an alarming pace and the tracks haven't come off yet that is quite good we'll turn a hole uh, oh god now we really are picking up speed oh god the tracks are still on oh no oh god what's happened to that left track we've lost the left track already everything sim speed's kind of dropping down 
The right track is still doing well. It's holding itself on. If, if Aaron was a little bit better with the gyroscope. Wow, that, that track is really surviving some hits here. Let's see if we're going to require this track to get through this next area here and get off this next part of the mountain. That track is helping us get over this rough terrain, even though we are using gravity. God, that looks like a really steep job. I wouldn't want to try this in this ship. So we've lost one track, and we're not even halfway down yet. Let's see if we can get out of this little gully we found ourselves stuck in. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. We nearly lost the second track. Just see if I can bring myself up in there. We'll get back to F8 and see if we can find ourselves going down this mountain. There we are. There's that little ship. It's on the edge there. Track is powering it away down there. Oh, God. We're picking up a lot of speed here. Maybe a bit too much speed. This, the track's doing amazing, though. This this thing could be like a, an intense downhill vehicle. It's actually smoke and other bits. I think that's part of the rotors that have been damaged, to be fair. Oh! No way we can control that now. It's just a matter of gravity to see what it's going to do to this thing when it hits. Is it going to take out the hole at the top? Oh, it's surviving pretty well. Now, do bear in mind that for this thing to function... Oh, wow. The track just... The, the track just survived. It didn't even care. Well, we made it to the bottom. Maybe not in one piece. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out the link to this vehicle in the description below. Such a simple track system. But it works just so well.